The Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, IPMAN, has pleaded for time to enable members exhaust their old stock of petroleum products before the new petrol pump price comes into effect. The federal government had on Wednesday announced a downward review of petrol price from 145 naira to 125 naira in response to the crash in crude oil prices and glut in the international market. Commanding President Muhammad Buhari for bringing down the prize, Ipman in a statement on Thursday by its national president, Sanusi Fari, said the reduction in price would go a long way in alleviating the burden of the masses. We're now joined by Tukumbo Korodo, Chairman, United Labour Congress, Lagos Chapter. Thank you very much for joining us. It's a pleasure being with you. Can you update us on the position of, the, of your organization on the reduction in the price of petrol as ordered by the federal government? Well, first and foremost, let's appreciate the good guest of uh, the federal government. It's on the two ways. The Nigeria will embrace it. It's, uh, it is a welcome development just to push the effect of this corona virus that is affecting the economic activities of individuals. But on the other side, it is also a very big challenge to some of the private investors who, on their own, are counting losses because some don't even have say they don't even prepare for it. But government need to come into the head of those uh, individual or uh, private sectors, the investor in the industry, so that they don't count much losses. To us, we embrace the good, good gesture of the government, but at the same time, they should also look at the other side of it, why it's affecting some individuals. Government should try to push an effect of that. As we speak, majority of fuel stations are yet to comply with the new fuel price. Why holding Nigerians to ransom? Two ways. That's exactly what I just explained. Because it is only the federal government station, that is an NPC, that can immediately comply. Because they have nothing at stake that will comply. But the individual ones that bought the product at the higher price is a big challenge to them. Because 20 naira per liter is much. And for them, are they going to run at a loss? They are not sure this institution. I'm not speaking for them, but that is the reality. I've been in the industry and I know how it works. Government but need to do something fast. Lease with them, give them hope that they need to take a drastic measure by ensuring that we have a mechanism to take if to, to check with and to know the extent of the losses they may incur if they comply in standard. Why is it difficult to comply with the new price? Explain. Yeah, it, it will be difficult because as an investor, some of them are running to bank to run this business. And the, 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 the bankers are not ready to listen to any excuses unless a reality on ground. You see, that is why we labor leaders in the oil and gas industry in the past are always kicking against the regulation based on pricing. You know, uh, uh, the, the import regulation cannot help us in this industry. But what we need, we need the regulation. It should be based on the local production. If government is making this product available at the local, to, uh, through the local uh, production, we, we, we will be talking like this. Some of these people brought in this product at high price. When the crude oil was being sold, 57 are there about per, per barrel. But now it's 24, and it can even crash further tomorrow. So government need to have some mechanism in place to cushion the effect before they pronounce it, or they work with the stakeholders. Government alone cannot sustain the market. And if they want a private sector to join, they must be carried along. I'm not speaking for them, but that is the reality. If you want it to work as directed. The issues of subsidy has been a bone of contention over the years. Can you enlighten us what is happening at the moment in that regard? Yes. The government is still important. And I, I can also tell you the, the, the sole import of the petroleum product is still NMPC. So the little ones, some individuals are imported to the country is higher. And the government, government is not ready to pay something to anybody. 
because of the fraudulent malpractices that surround it. It's good. But as we are embracing such move, we should also increase in our local production. If our local production is high, this is the time for us to be smiling to ban. So we, we can also sustain any uh, price differential within the system now. So why is Nigeria still importing fuel despite the availability of the resources here in Nigeria? Well, let us put this question at the doorstep of our political leaders. The political will to make the refinery work is what we need. The turnaround maintenance needs to be done effectively. We should also have additional uh, refineries, even if it is a modular refinery. Look at the number of Nigerians, the population we have in Nigeria. And the four refineries we are having cannot sustain us. Look at other developed countries where most of us have been to. They have more than 100 refineries and their population is lesser than Nigeria. And the same thing, we still want to manage with these four refineries that if we're not producing at the maximum capacity. So it's a big challenge. If you have the leadership, the have political will to turn things around, I think the better for us so that we get out of this mess once and for all. So what's your next line of action now that the federal government is expecting compliance from oil marketers? It, it, it is not our own point of view. It is placed on the, desk, uh, the doorstep of IPMA, Independent Marketers uh, Association of Nigeria, and also the major marketers. So these are also the people that comprehend and supplement the effort of the government when an issue of petroleum product challenges arises. So the government need to work along with the stakeholders, whatever uh, uh, cushion effect they are, they are going to give them, it is the right time to do that so that the compliance will be total once and for all. Many thanks for joining us on the news. Well, I'm to thank you.